Stronger computer whiz and bodybuilding champion is hoping to throw his weight around tonight. My parents are my, my biggest inspiration in life, really. They worked really hard, and now we own a uh, Chinese takeaway and fish and chip shop. Mum and dad are proud. Uh, I, I probably know a lot more about computers than any of the other contenders. I suppose, yeah, a bit geeky, but um, I'm definitely a geek that can hoe their own in sports. I train about eight to ten times a week. <laughs> Weightlifting, rock climbing, and tumbling. I fancy my chances of winning. To show people that you can train hard, work computers, and be, be the best. Gong's hoping to be the best tonight. He faces Spartan. He stay on longer than four seconds. On guard! Three, two, one! Off they go, a quick hit from Spartan. And Gung has lost his balance already. It's game over. The crowd goes wild for Spartan, and he deserves it. What a performance! is in supreme form here tonight. It just didn't quite... Four seconds, it didn't quite happen. What happened? Talk to me. Oh, the first, first few blows were pretty tough and uh, it just put me off balance and that was it, really. You just couldn't get into it, could you? It just, it just didn't happen that time. That is that going to knock you? Is that no, going to knock your confidence? Next time, next time. Yeah? Hey, we've got to give him some love. When I spun! OK, let's take a look at the scores after the first battle. Spartan certainly ruled in this event and left both contenders with nothing. If the contenders thought it was tough facing one gladiator, how are they going to manage with four? It's the gauntlet. Gauntlet. A terrifying gauntlet awaits and a possible ten points to be scored. Fiona, you'll get two points for each gladiator you get past and an extra two points if you can break through the wall at the end when time's up. So tell me, are you ready to look four gladiators in the eyes and say, I'm coming, you don't need to look for me? I'm ready! She is ready, she's ready everybody! Let's find out who she's up against tonight on the gauntlet! Enigma! Inferno! Ice! needs to keep Three, going. Two, one. And she's off straight out of Enigma. But she's escaped there already. And she's made light work of Inferno. Crashes through ice. And Fiona, too quick for battle axe as well. She did absolutely brilliantly. She got the better of all the gladiators. Fiona, what a brilliant job you did there. Absolutely amazing. It looked so easy, was it? Um, no, not really, but this was going to be my event, the speed and the power event. I just wanted to get through there as quickly as possible and to dodge those gladiators. I play netball, so I'm used to spinning and dodging a lot, so I utilise those skills in this event. You really did 9.8 seconds. That is a good time. That really is. Well, Katie's with Ian, and I believe she's raring to go. So, Katie, Fiona, absolutely battered through our gladiators there. What's your plan? What's the plan of attack? My plan is to do it quicker than she did. That's all I can say. I'm going to kick some proverbial. <laughs> well, you've got to get yourself on the ball. Best of luck. John, take it away, big man. Katie, ready to take them on. Ready it is! Ready! Enigma mean as ever. Three, two, one. <laughs> Katie looks mean, ready for action, straight into Enigma, and round her. Next comes Inferno, she made light work of her. Ice is brushed aside as well, just battle axe now, and she's through her and crashes through the wall. Well, both our contenders are in really hot form here tonight. Katie's supporters are elated. Inferno's not impressed, but everyone else is. Katie, what a great job you did there. Not bad if I may say so myself. <laughs> Quite proud of that, aren't you? <laughs> I certainly am. I picked up some points, which I was gutted about before, so yeah. You've got your first 10 points. Well done to you, Katie. Well done. Let's have a look at how that scoreboard stands. A grueling fight, but a high scoring round. Fiona's on 15 points, Katie on 10. Well, the ladies have made it through the gauntlet, so the boys can't hide any longer, I'm afraid. Phil, how are you feeling about this? 
this? Any special tactics you're going to use? It's going to be a tough one, uh, quite an intimidating bunch. I'd consider trying to talk my way through. <laughs> I don't think that'll work. Uh. No, you won't be able to talk your way through. A more direct approach then. Yeah, OK then, let's find out which four gladiators are waiting to knock you out, Phil. We've got Oblivion! Predator! Tornado! And Destroyer! was right, he won't be able to talk his way through this. Oblivion looking angrier than ever. Three, two, one. Phil yes, story will have to go in hard and he certainly does. Oblivion's gone already. Onto Predator really throwing his weight around, but Phil's on the four points. Straight into Tornado, really feeling those blows. But this guy is tough and he hasn't given up. He's through, he makes mincemeat of Destroyer as well. Phil, the cold carrying champion, a real champion tonight. 15 seconds, Phil. Fantastic. After the disappointment of Jewel, you must be happy with that. The direct approach worked that time, I think, didn't it? I just kept my legs moving, really. Keep driving. That looked like a hard hit. Yeah, that, that was a big hit. I thought you were trying to rugby tackle me there. You happy about that? Because, Jewel, you weren't happy, was I? I could see it on your face. You happy now? I'm not happy now, yeah. So going, Phil got a nice 10 points there. Pressure's really on now, isn't it? I handle pressure well. I want to get 10 points and a faster time. I say 13 seconds. Oh, sounds rather menacing. Good luck going over to you, John. Contender, 13 seconds, very ambitious. The gun makes light work of Oblivion and through Predator too. He's down, but he's certainly not out yet. Destroyer pushing him back into Tornado Zone. The tornado champing at the bit to have another go. Down the gauntlet they go. But John Anderson's not careful, he'll get bashed too. The Destroyer seems to have him trapped here. He's laying into him hard. Well, the gladiators think they won, but they may have broken the rules. And Destroyer won't be happy. All right, listen carefully. The rules are clear. You are not allowed to grasp and wrestle with the contender. You have to strike, only strike. We start on the last section, your section. The contender has six seconds remaining. Six seconds on the line. Destroyer, you are disqualified for holding. Gunk, straight through, 10 points. Off you go. Whoa, go! Well done, my man. Well done, my man. Thank you, there. It's a bit of a fight to get there in the end, but you got there in the end. 10 points for you, my friend. Well done. How are you feeling? It's great. It's a big, it was a big battle. It was harder than I thought, but I made 10 points. That's all that matters. What was the problem there? Tell me, what was no. the problem? Was he holding you? Did yeah, he was holding me. He was holding, then um, John, John stepped in with a call that he was holding me. The straw was holding him? Yeah, the straw was holding me. Oh, okay. Easy. Well, anyway, Gun, how are you feeling, my friend? I feel fantastic, come on! OK. OK, let's have a look at the scoreboard, see how that's done. A hard-hitting round for the boys who really earn those ten points each. The next challenge our contenders must face is an event that requires mental agility as well as Herculean upper body strength. It's an elegant game of aerial chess. It's a gladiator classic, but it's now played over water. It's hang tough. Tough. Fiona's up first and hoping to lock legs with her tonight. It's Enigma. Enigma, mystifying, secretive. No one would dare get on the wrong side of this gladiator. Fiona 
flew by her in gauntlet, so Enigma's hoping to regain some power here. Fiona's got one minute to get over to her platform. 